Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Fishery Headlines on this Tuesday, September 6, 2022. Hope you had a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I know I did. Uh, took advantage of, uh, you know, what is considered the unofficial ending to summer, uh, but hopefully got out either way and enjoyed the time and had uh, plenty of fun barbecues. However, I think I got almost everything in that I wanted to. Uh, for the weekend, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, and we've got a lot of headlines here as uh, we work through this Tuesday. Let's start with that early fall hydrant flushing. This is going to be coming up soon. Fitcher Utilities fall hydrant flushing uh, will start on Monday, September 12th, and will finish on Friday, September 30th. Flushing will occur Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Due to the flushing, the water may be temporarily discolored. Discoloration can be cleared by opening up the cold water tap to full flow for a few minutes. Please do your laundry in the evening when the water is clear to avoid damage to clothing. Dog park closure to tell you about as well. The Fitchburg Dog Park or Sunnyside Dog Park uh, will be closed uh, in at least a large area for some work. Uh, this will be happening starting on Wednesday, September 7th as they'll uh, be doing some exploratory work in the uh, well pressure tank at the dog park. Plan uh, to close the large dog park area while this work is being done, as well as utilize, while they utilize some heavy equipment. <clears throat> Want to make sure to keep everybody safe. And they would anticipate the large area will be closed around 6.30 a.m. on the 7th. So keep that in mind. Once they're done, they'll reopen the area, but the small area should remain open at the dog park. Fitchburg, uh, or the Friends of the Fitchburg Public Library will be hosting another used book sale. Get this on the calendar. The sale uh, will be happening on Thursday, October 20th uh, through the October 22nd. On Thursday, October 20th, uh, before 4 to 7 p.m., with friends receiving a 10% discount on books, CDs, DVDs. New members are also welcome to join at that time. On Friday, October 21st, the book sale will be 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, October 22nd, it'll be 10 a.m. to 2 p.m with that world famous bag sale starting from 2, uh, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Proceeds support the Fitchburg Public Library. City of Fitchburg upcoming meetings for the week. I got to get this back in there. We used to do this all the time, but uh, we got to get this back in here. Let's take a look at the meetings that will be happening. It's going to be a busy one uh, at that. So we have a uh, board of review uh, happening uh, on the 9th on Friday. We have uh, on Thursday night, uh, we got tra Transportation and Transit Commission, Tree Advisory as well happening on Thursday night, as well as Commission on Aging happening very early. So pretty much Thursday and Friday this week will be your city meetings. Remember that you can capture or catch all of our city meetings on our Gov Channel F1. That's live streamed through Fact TV's website, fitchburgwi.gov backslash Fact TV. Streaming uh, TV, you can check us on Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. And of course, on cable TV, we're on AT&T Uverse, Channel 99. You just choose the Gov Channel. Spectrum Cable, Government uh, Channels F1986. And TDS TV, Government Channel F1, is on Channel 8. Say yes to COVID tests. Yes, you can get five more free COVID tests. In fact, I signed up this morning. It's so easy. It only took me literally two minutes. The federal home COVID test program ends, uh, but there are still new way to get free home tests delivered directly to your door. DHS Wisconsin launched the Say Yes to COVID test program. Five tests per household, ships within one to two weeks. All you got to do is sign up at Say Yes COVID Home Tests. Dot org. That's say yes, COVID home test dot org. My suggestion, go to Department of Health's uh, website or their Facebook page. They got a direct link there and it's super easy to sign up. Finally, uh, are exposed to uh, COVID? Well, here's some uh, simple ways to uh, remember how uh, to stay safe and uh, considering if you have been exposed. Think about the length of time uh, of exposed uh, symptoms, mask wearing, were you wearing one, weren't you wearing one, the airflow and closeness to where you were. Maybe you were out at Big Vent this weekend, never know, could have picked it up. Uh, either way, uh, know the certain factors will lower or increase your risk of getting sick, like whether or not an infected person had symptoms at the time you were near them, right? Either way, get help assessing your risks after exposure they have a, a piece or a piece, a place for this. It's at cdc.gov and you can uh, learn uh, and uh, run your symptoms through there to see if maybe you've been exposed to COVID. Have a great day, everybody.